Hey guys, and welcome back to Idle On, and I'm continuing with my progress here on my journey, man. And we're, we are into fishing now, through the woodcutting, into fishing, and then after that we've just got catching. So, I, what I've discovered is that fishing is a grind. I should have saved all those XP balloons for fishing, because this thing, fishing, like, fishing sucks in terms of speed. It is so slow. I mean, I, I could go through and add like some strength points and try to make a more specific type of build. Maybe that would help. But even with all my fishing cards on this, like it just still so slow. So I don't know how we're going to make it any faster, but it's going at like a snail's pace so far. I did that first uh, little quest with the whale guy to try and uh, get some levels. And those that quest is very helpful. Now we're going to make a copper fishing rod and go ahead and use that because anything I can do to gain some type of bonus here is going to be useful. So we will go ahead and use uh, that. And that should hopefully increase my fishing efficiency at least a little bit, but it's still going to suck because this is not like a fishing build. I, again, I could have tried to make a fishing build, but I don't really have fishing bonuses on this character. So, wouldn't be as useful, probably. So, yeah, we do have some cards, but you can see the XP per hour is abysmal. It's so bad. Well, I guess it's not that terrible, but it it's not that great. So, we'll see. I'm going to get there eventually, but it might take... This part alone might take like a week. Who knows? But at this point, I'm committed to uh, actually getting the maestro done. So we are going to do it. Um, I'm going to put on the bonuses for uh, XP gain. I think probably rather than uh, skill efficiency. Uh, we'll probably do skill XP. Uh, it's probably the right thing to do. And um, I'm thinking, should I upgrade this? I do have the uh, souls to upgrade this again. This is the uh, unending energy one. Pretty good prayer, although I keep missing the 10 hour mark pretty badly <laughs> sometimes. So I need to be better about that. We're going to go ahead and use that one to get the skill XP bonus. Since it's really XP that I'm after here, the efficiency is helpful, but I'm really after the XP. All right, so uh, let's go back and um, continue where we left off there. Um, all right, so here is my current oval situation, and I just got a gold strength one from the alchemy shop. And my current situation here, we can replace... Uh, well, actually, I guess we're still waiting on... Hmm... Let's see, maybe we can combine some of these luck ones to try and get another golden luck uh, oval. You can see I have all golds, one platinum, and then one uh, square dementia one. So my J-Man has a pretty uh, solid oval setup there. And we're going to try and compare, we're going to try and combine a few of these. Um, that's pretty uh, expensive. Um, seems like it'd be better to combine... Uh, the two silvers, maybe? I, I don't know if I have an extra silver, though. Uh, maybe we won't do that right now. Um, hmm. But yeah, getting pretty close to an all gold or better uh, oval setup for the J-Man. And you can see here my family ovals at present. I do have these bronze XP ones. Not really sure what to do with those. I do have an extra uh, XP one there as well, so I could combine a few of them. Maybe it's better to just use uh gold ones from the other types but the xp ones seem pretty good in theory i don't know so let's go and have another look at what we can get from the uh, shop here um bronze there silver there so a few more useful ones um fishing progress uh level 18 fishing fishing so fishing is coming along here but it's still really slow I need like, I think 23 fishing is what I think I need. So 
could still be another handful of days because the progress is extremely slow with this it is bad i could really use i'm like trying to get the uh, daily xp balloons and then using those as well because it is slow so yeah more uh ovals here another day's worth and oh snap what is that that looks like a hexagon gold oval i think that is the best oval i've ever gotten from the alchemy shop right there let's see what it's gonna be it's a hexagon i've never gotten a hexagon from the uh alchemy shop and it's golden oval of cards uh plus two and some stats and then five percent card drop chance that's pretty interesting i've never gotten an oval like that from the uh alchemy shop before in fact i didn't even know you could get an oval that good from the alchemy shop i mean it said you could get gold ones but i didn't know you could get anything better than i don't think i've gotten anything better than a circle so i didn't even know you could get anything other than a circle from uh, the alchemy shop so there you go there is proof you can get something better than a circle from alchemy shop i assume you can't get anything better than gold but i think about it and i'm like well then how do you get the uh, better ones it must be that you have to combine them um so i assume if i combine two golds i would be able to get a dementia or sorry a platinum i had no idea i could get an oval that good from that particular part of the shop and honestly now that i know that i'm probably going to do two i'm gonna like pull from that twice every day instead of just once that's gonna do it for this video so leave a like if you guys enjoyed let me know what you thought about this video in the comments and what other types of content i should create and i will see you guys in the next video